and welcome back to Statistics and Probability class. You have familiarized yourselves on how to determine the appropriate test statistic. This time, you will acquire skill on computing for the test statistic value on population mean. Recall that if the sample size n is large, that is when n is greater than or equal to 30, and either the population standard deviation, sigma, or variance is known, z-test is used. To find the z-value, we use the formula z equals x bar minus mu over sigma over square root of n. Where x bar is the sample mean, mu is the population mean, sigma is the population standard deviation, and n is the sample size. Example 1. Given the sample mean equals 36.5, population mean equals 37, um, population standard deviation 2.8, and sample size 90, compute for the z-value. Since n is greater than or equal to 30, and sigma is known, then we will use z-test. That is, z equals x bar minus mu over sigma over square root of n equals, by substitution, we have 36.5 minus 37 over 2.8 over square root of 90. And using your calculator, Z value is negative 1.694. Therefore, the computed Z value is negative 1.694. One thing we have to remember is that in central limit theorem, where sample size is large, sample standard deviation S may be used as an estimate, estimate of population standard deviation sigma when unknown. On the other hand, t-test is used when n is less than 30. The population is normal or near, nearly normal, and the population standard deviation and population variance are both unknown. The formula in finding the t-value is t equals x bar minus u over small s over square root of small m. Example 2. Given sample mean 100.7, population mean 99.1, sample standard deviation 3, sample size 16, compute the t-value. Since n is less than 30 and sigma is unknown, then we will use t-test. That is, t equals x bar minus mu over s over square root of n. By substitution, we have 100.7 minus 99.1 over 3 over square root of 16. Now, using your calculator, t is 2.13. I believe you are more ready this time to answer questions of such type. Until next time!